When we got this email from Beverly Wright, I knew we had one thing to do, link her up with one of the top bug people we knew. Here's their conversation. Oh no, Beverly, these are wonderful. They're not yuck. Oh yeah, they're kind of yuck for me. Retired radio advertiser Beverly Wright is not a bug person. Her email to WJZ pleaded for help, saying as much, with several cicada questions. Are they harmful in any way? They're not going to bite or sting. They're not going to carry away small children and dogs like the monkeys in The Wizard of <laughs> Oz. University of Maryland entomologist Michael Raup says cicadas lay eggs on trees that might cause a little damage, but otherwise no harm to us. Are they more active at a certain time of day? The cicada palooza in the treetops is going to take place uh, on bright sunny days usually okay. at the warmest part of the day. On the way up to the treetops, they might land on you for a second or bump into somebody. They're pretty clumsy flyers. Cicadas will not be active on rainy, cloudy, or cool days. I'll go out on rainy days. <laughs> well, no, you need to go out on sunny days, Beverly, to enjoy the cicadas. Beverly's fear of cicadas getting in the house is unfounded, Ralph says. Are they trying, to, they're not trying to get into the house to stay Ooh. You might see someone the side of the house, but they're only there to shed their skin and then they're going to fly away to the treetops. The brood 10 cicadas will be emerging in Maryland soon. And when are they leaving? By the 4th of July, I think we'll be all, all done with cicadas here. Okay, well that's, that's good. I'll just remain in the house until they leave. What about cookouts? Will they disrupt summer grilling season? Are they reacting to certain kinds of smells? They suck plant sap. They're not interested in burgers uh, or hot dogs. So, <laughs> On to location. Just where will the Brood 10 bunch be? Are they going to be at beach? Are they going to be in Ocean City? No cicadas in Ocean City. Uh, they're only going to be on the uh, west of the Chesapeake for the most part. Beverly, you started off with yuck. Do you still have that same opinion? Yes. <laughs> now, among some of the other questions Beverly had, no, cicadas do not react to colorful clothing, and there's no need to use insect repellent. Hopefully that answers some of your questions, too. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.